Hey guys, it's Corey here. Welcome back to some more Adventure Quest news. We do the news here every Thursday. Let's get right into the news. First of all, this Friday, we will journey to battle with Gravelin and defend Shadowfall from the Queen's Infernal Army. So, for this picture, this is really cool art. I love the uh, texture, especially on the lower leg there. The texture looks great on this art. This will be the Friday release tomorrow, uh, and we're going to Shadowfall uh, a little bit more. There's some modified burning blades. You can see uh, there's a little black stroke around there. Uh, stroke is an outline in Photoshop. I don't know why it's called a stroke, but a little black outline on the blade. So the burn and it's lighter on the hilt there. So. There's a modified burning blade in this picture, which could be a new item, maybe. Uh, but that's about all we can see. We we got armor, which will probably be acquirable, and some a burning blade. So that's all we can get from this photo, but this is the release for tomorrow. Uh, we have J6 coming at us on November 3rd, so that was a while ago. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be huge, making Shadowfall great again. And a little bit of context, he was talking about redoing Shadowfall, this map. Uh, so, and if you read this, we're going to defend Shadowfall on November 7th and on November 3rd, J6, the background, he does all the art, like he does that art for, for the maps. So, we might have a new Shadowfall for the new release tomorrow. So, just a little bit of, a little bit of news there. So, interesting. A new set. I don't know if this is actual official going to be in-game or if it's just someone's art. But I uh, thought I'd show it here anyway. Looks pretty cool from Blade. Uncle Blady. <laughs> Blade of AE. So it looks pretty interesting. Um, some people like plate armor. I'm not a fan of plate armor that much. But yeah, looks okay. And that's a new set. So this. This is from Tana. This is one of the best sets I've seen in the game for a while. And we have not seen any male versions of this yet. Not to my knowledge, if there is a male version, please tweet at me after watching the video. But uh, from what I know, there's only female versions of this. I don't know, there's probably a male version. So with this set, you'll it's a limited quantity set. Uh, more on that in a second. Champion of Light Armor, you'll get the bright and dark wings. Uh, the Light Champion Wrap. Uh, the Empowered and Shimmering Swords of Light. Two swords. Swords, plural. Um, and locks and helm of light. So, so a helmet and locks and two swords. A wrap. I th I thought wraps were like capes. Maybe not. I don't I don't know what the wrap would be. <laughs> Brain dark wings. So two capes and the champion light of armor. So you get an armor, two swords, two helmets, and here is what the sword is or is looks like I guess the animation on it. Of course it's. People don't know how to record their screens, but uh, looks good anyway. Uh, really cool animation on there. Here is the helmet. This is what I'm most excited for. So uh, I think we've only had a one helmet like this before. It looks very cool and it's animated. So it looks at the like it looks at you, gaze of light. So it's coming to the limited quantity shop. It looks pretty cool. Uh, here is the Liberty Quality Shop. I'll leave a link to this in the description if you want to uh, have it bookmarked for tomorrow. Uh, this shop will go live at 3.30, or not 3.30, is it 3 o'clock? Yeah, 6 o'clock uh, Eastern, which is 3 o'clock West Coast. Uh, so if you live on the West Coast, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock on the East Coast, that's when the shop will go live. There's 10,000 in stock of the new set, along with uh, the leftovers of the older sets. This one's free for everyone, so even if you're a non-member, it's just a, it's just 50k gold for a pet and a sword and a badge, I think. So 50k gold for a badge, pretty good deal there. The pet and sword and all that other stuff that comes with it, not that good, but you're paying for the badge, basically. And there's a few other things. Um... There's still 3,000 of this Griffin Rider set for all players. That'll be available tomorrow at uh, 3 o'clock where I live. Uh, 3 o'clock on the West Coast. The uh, Bright Forger's house. So there's just a few stuff left out. Like a few packages left over. 
Um, and we get a new one, which I'm definitely going to be getting the champion lane. That set looks amazing. So I'll leave a link to that in the description so you can go bookmark it for tomorrow. And a reminder that the Mulgoween event and the rest of the Rare October items leave tomorrow with the new release. So if you're watching the video now and you had any October Halloween items that you wanted to get, make sure you get them right now before they're gone tomorrow. All right, now we're here in Adventure Quest 3D. Um, there's a new UI update. So you can go look up some of my old videos for the old one. The chat used to be up in the top corner and stuff. Uh, it's different now. So you have your skills at the bottom. Um, you have the XP bars that looks different. Uh, so they're just going for a more PC UI. Apparently you can rebind keys. So here's what the settings look like now. Did they add upscaling? No. Okay, um, you can rebind keys finally. So the actions next target. Okay, that's good. So inventory, alpha, what action buttons? All right, so you can rebind keys. These don't look like all the keys. Ah, these do not look like all the keys. Uh, for some reason, the potion hot key is not that. Do I have potions? Maybe I don't have any potions. Uh, don't have any potions. So there was supposed to be a potion thing there, so you might have it if you have potions in your inventory. Uh, so yeah, there's a new UI in AQ3D. Uh, the game's still a lot of issues with the game still, like my mouse doesn't lock into the window, and I can't change the mouse sensitivity in game at all, which that needs to be worked on, of course, but I'm sure they're working on it. And uh, yeah, so there's a new UI in AQ3D. I thought I'd include that at the end of the Adventure Quest news video. Thanks for watching guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great day, I'll see you tomorrow, I'll be streaming, actually the stream will be a little early tomorrow, uh, so it'll be about 2.30, because I want to start streaming before the Limited Quantity Shop goes live, so it, we'll start streaming around 2.30, uh, close to 3 o'clock, but probably around 2.30ish, maybe 2.45, so 2.30 in the afternoon, that's when we're starting to stream, that's uh, West Coast time of course, so I'll see you guys there, have a great day rest of your week and i'll see you tomorrow peace welcome to the outro of the video if you haven't seen my last video it'll be in the top right hand corner of your screen go ahead and click the card up there that'll bring you to the last video follow me on twitter facebook and twitch i stream on twitch sometimes i post a lot on twitter if you're never going to contact me my dms are always open on twitter so you can feel free to contact me there and facebook is where i post all my videos so if you use facebook and want to keep up with my videos following me there is definitely a good thing to do. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.